it's time to go home. I was there, you know, in Paris. Do you think that it makes any bit of difference, Liam? Why, did you know? Then, no. My father just told me downstairs, and he also said that you were going to keep it to yourself. Yeah, well, enough people know already. I was gonna find out eventually it may as well be from me. I agree. You know, she thought that you just stopped caring. That you just decided that she wasn't worth the trouble anymore. Now, why would I, of all people, want her to feel that way about herself? And now she knows for a fact how unreliable you are and that you just never could put her first. Look, you wanna pack up a few things that we take to the house until I can properly move you in? Um. Or that can wait. We can wait. You know, why don't you go downstairs and start saying your goodbyes to everyone, okay? I'll, I'll be down in a few minutes. You know, I'm sorry it had to go down like this. Had to? But I think we always knew that it would. Who are you trying to be? You understand that's my wedding reception wrapping up downstairs. You understand that this is something that you cannot change. It's still in the kitchen. Both of them? What were they saying? Well, if Bill saw me, that would be bad. Okay. She was horrified when you told her, right? Shocked, yes. I mean, she wasn't on her way to forgiving Bill like she always does. I think you misunderstood. Yeah, I, I thought so too. I have been to Forrester. I've seen Ridge in that office drawing pictures. So have I. But he wouldn't let me see what he was drawing. He was too ashamed. Can we talk about this on the jet? Hell, don't you get it? Ridge has lost his ability to draw. He had a little memory loss and that came back. Now I think it's reasonable to assume that this will come back as well. Captain Marks is on the Stella Mars waiting to marry us. Can we talk about this on the jet? Well, she does do that. I mean, forgive, you know? T you know if she didn't, I wouldn't be here today. Or any other day, for that matter. In the long run, I doubt she can forgive as fast as Bill can commit the unforgivable. Why are you so determined to have this guy, then? It's not because he's well-behaved. I'll fly in the best specialist in the world. I don't know if Rich is gonna accept that. Why wouldn't he accept that he wants to get better, doesn't he? You'll convince him. You and Katie. I think it's important to get a second opinion. On what? On Ridge's medical condition. Fine, he has a clean bill of health, he just can't draw. If he's had a brain injury. I don't think brain surgery is gonna make him more artistic. I didn't say anything about brain surgery. Now you do realize he may have an ulterior motive for claiming he's impaired. He hates my guts, Brooke. If he can turn you against- No, Bill. You're the one who lies to me. Not Rich. You. Uh, I'm so sorry. No. If I had thought. No, this is all my fault. If, if if it wasn't for me, we would be celebrating a very different marriage right now. You have been living for this day. True enough. Yeah. I'm not talking about your wedding day, White. I'm talking about the day you get to rub my face. Hey, I didn't ask you to be here. What did you say to Hope when the clock struck three and I wasn't there? Liam, I'm not getting into this. You couldn't have let her wait ten more minutes, Wyatt. Five more minutes. She did wait for you. You couldn't have called and said that you were coming. I mean, come on. As far as she knew, there was nothing more to wait for but another disappointment from you. You really want to win this way? What, knowing that I was second choice, you mean? I know that's how you see it. And I know that she still loves you, but you know what? You never made her happy, and I do.
It was a mistake. No. No, no, I'm... I'm so glad that Liam did what he did for you. No, but I'm pretty sure you wouldn't be married right now, Hope. At least... At least not to Wyatt. But you said vows. Leap of faith. I now pronounce you husband and wife. I don't know about this country, but in Australia, we have a little thing called an annulment. So, you make her happy. She says so. How do you make her happy exactly? Have you asked yourself that? Oh, I'm not gonna get into a fight with you, Lee. Oh, sure, because it's so easy to be patient and kind when you have everything you want. As a matter of fact, yeah. Even if you had to steal it. Hope's waiting for me, so I'm gonna... You sure about that? You sure she's not chewing off her foot right now to get out of the trap? You won't be able to keep her. Hey, look, I get that you're hurting right now, but you will respect my marriage. How do you make her happy? You have one trick, Wyatt, and one trick only, the big, shiny surprise. You buy an expensive camper, you whisk her away in it, a flowing tent on the beach, a candlelight dinner, a necklace, a set of earrings, a diamond the size of Gibraltar. That was a promise that I kept with her. That wasn't a scheme. Yeah, and maybe you actually believe that. Maybe you have actually fooled yourself just as much as you fooled her. And hell, growing up with Quinn, maybe precious stones and precious metals look like love to you, but here's what I know. You can't outdo yourself anymore. It's finished. The world has showered upon you all the good fortune it had to give. So how will you dazzle her now, Wyatt? Valentine's Day cards, birthday cakes. You'd be like a cheap magic act. Without all the bling and the big surprises, all she'll see you as is a jealous little boy who stabbed his brother in the back and stole his life. Okay. Okay, I'm sorry. But can you really blame me for being skeptical, Brooke? This is the same man who couldn't bear the thought of me sitting around a dinner table with his kid. Not everybody thinks like you, pal. And what the hell is that supposed to mean? It took Ridge months to admit the enormity of what happened to him during that fall. And you want to turn it around, make it some kind of strategy on his part? It's not all about winning for most of us. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? This is the guy who chased us halfway around the world to break up our wedding, who decked me, who dragged you away, and you think what? What? This was his altruistic side showing through? All right, I really? This is getting nowhere. How come he gets a free pass from you? when it's his entire mission in life to do a kamikaze raid on your self-esteem. Most of our conversations end up being about what you want. I take up a lot of room. I know that. And you were the first woman in my life strong enough to deal with it. You didn't have to shrink me down to dollhouse size. Make me pretend to be better than I am. I don't want to change you, Bill. I just want to respect you. I think you better go. saying go where i have to let the caterers in here to help me clean up what's stopping you 
look, I just don't want to have this conversation anymore. I'm not going anywhere without you. My pilot is waiting for us. The rest of our lives is waiting for us. Remember? Mitch finally tells me what your anger and your carelessness have cost him. And you think my response should be to, to run away with you and get married? What about his own anger and carelessness and what that's done to him? I love you, Bill. I just can't give up everything else that I am just to suit you. I waited, and I waited. Why didn't he just tell me that he was on his way? Why didn't he let me know? By the time he realized it was too late, both of our phones had been swimming in the Seine. Ugh, such a stupid place and time to stand and take a photo. I mean, thousands of people cross that bridge every single day without falling in. Although, I have to say, it felt a little less like falling and a little more like being pushed. Who would do something like that? I don't know. I never saw them. Things were supposed to be different. And they are. Between us. That too. God! Damn it, Wyatt! We were supposed to be brothers! We were supposed to support and respect each other. We were supposed to be the man in each other's lives that we never had growing up. I poke fun at you like a brother does. I even look up to you like a brother does. Maybe I even love you like a brother does. But I don't know what to do with this sense of grievance that you have right now. Yeah, well, you wouldn't. Spider never knows what the fly is complaining about. Oh my God, haven't you noticed that everything happens to you? Huh? Good or bad? Doesn't matter. Dad gave you a job and a name and a title and a house, and you managed that all very nicely. But all you had to do was just open up your hand, and there it was. You know, that night when I walked in and I saw my mom standing there with that blade, I thought to myself, that is a symbol of his whole entire life. Someone who he bullied and he insulted and he treated with contempt just didn't want it take it anymore. But to you, it was just some psycho who was attacking you for no good reason. Just like everything else that happens in your life for no good reason. Did you, did you find yourself thinking that night for a moment, just for a moment, let her do it? No. I need you in my life, okay? We can be brothers. We can be friends. You're, you're Hope's family now, too. But what you will have to accept is what's done is done. I still cannot believe that Liam was there. Hope, Liam loves you. He did exactly what you asked. The only reason you didn't know is because he was too busy trying to save me from sinking to the bottom of the sea. Yeah. things to do, so. Moving? Yeah, moving hope in. What's stopping you? Are you gonna be all right? Is there anyone that I could call for you? Hey, when you were in Paris, did you give Steffi a call? Don't, don't, Why? don't even, don't. What's the matter, winning doesn't feel as good as you thought it would? I know that we thought this was a competition, but it wasn't about who was gonna be the better man. 
It was about who was going to show up no matter what. My wife is waiting for me. Ivy probably wouldn't have drowned, you know. You're not coming with me. I can't. The timing's against us. It's not so terrible. It's been against us before, right? You've forgiven me. You said those words, bro. You can't unforgive me because of consequences that no one could have foreseen. I'm not accusing you. I just don't think that I can do what you want me to do. Then we'll wait. We waited before and it hasn't been the end of anything. And it won't be now. Captain Marks, the wedding is, the wedding is postponed for the time being. I'll be in touch. Wedding? We did it. 